guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting very into episode 9 of Healing Good Pretty Care, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Was that supposed to be a TikTok? My God. No. I don't know why, but that fast walking kind of reminds me of when the Chanel's were in Scream Queens. We have not seen Scream Queens. Watch that ish. Just good as American Horror Story. Sounds fun. <laughs> mm. 
No. <laughs> Me in a nutshell. <laughs> Oh my god, what? <laughs> Oh my god, you <laughs> No, what's my stop? Exactly. <gasps> Look at the mirror. <laughs> so pretty. I said for cookie bee. Oh, the blue one. Or <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. Well, it is first come, first serve. <laughs> you see she like I don't know. Did they just do an Easter egg from the Predator series? Because I swear the girl on the right with the brown ear looked familiar. Oh, Jesus. This is what it's like during Black Friday. Our current situation when everybody's trying to go to the store and get anything that they can. You okay? Seriously? Oh. 
as my baby, my baby Futaba, Tanya. <laughs> uh oh. Going after another dog. Typical dogs. To see your beauty is totally kind of different from other people's beauty, but that's okay. I'm so interesting. Okay, now, here's the thing that Hannah should do. Go immediately get your best friends and then go together because you're leaving them out in the blue and they don't know anything of what in the world is going on. So you really should get dumb. I'm just saying. You can't do everything by yourself, though. But still, you're doing it by yourself. I mean, yes, you are powerful by yourself, but together, you're unstoppable. Oh, honey, no. That's why you didn't want to call.
the fact that her girlfriend's coming here. My heart. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> No, don't be sorry. Hush, stomach. I know you're hungry. <laughs> To harden the gem even more? Or to just make it slip and fall? To make it slip and fall. That's right. Okay. <laughs> no. You're not going to want to take a picture of a pretty girl, are you?
I need to see some memes with that cheeky face because that is a meme worthy. <laughs> oh my god. Honey, what the? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What can I say about this episode? It was good. I enjoyed it for Hina as much. I think this is a really good episode for her character because. Hina is essentially B. Mm. Hina and Adaka are the girly girls of the group, while um, Chihu is. I, no, you know what? Let me take that back. In there, this is kind of a season where all three are girly girls, because typically sometimes when it's like a trio or it's four girls or five girls, it's usually maybe a couple of the girls are girly then a couple of them are tomboy, and then the one, then there's usually one who's just out there. This is just as of right now, all three girls are girly in their own way, and their passions and everything. I mean, yes, Hina is the girliest of them, because, I mean, come on, she loves to do everything. The fact that she took pictures of Hina, I mean, Hina, Nadoka and Chiyu, that was sweet, so that <laughs> Nadoka can have a picture, like, oh my god, so pretty. Uh-oh. You know what? That's really smart. That is really, really smart. Like, oh my god. It's bait. But that is really smart to literally have all three villains, mini-villains, as I like to call them right now, um... In an episode, all at the same time. That means we can do see a lot of Kobayashi next week. You know I, mean? <laughs> I just the funny thing is, like, I really wish with this show because of the fact is Kobayashi's VA is a villain in the show. I really just want like an episode moment or like a nod to Co Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon or Dragon Maid because that is like the best show ever. Please watch it if you haven't seen it. It is just ah, uh, if you really just want to see relationship. <laughs> Someone in a dragon made it so fucking cute. But this episode, like I said, I really loved it for what it was. Um, and Hina is just an adorable little thing. You have to love her no matter what. All three of these girls are just adorable. And I do love the fact that, you know, to commemorate their friendship, Hina decides to get a photo done of them together. And so I do hope that when the last girl comes eventually by... 20... Two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Whenever she comes, um, I do hope that they eventually get to do a picture with her together because it's con commemorating their friendship of the trio. And then to have all four girls together, I mean, it'd be nice. Because I 
think, in Gold Princess Pretty Cure. When it was the four of them, they did something together. I mean, looking at, like, Star Trek Pretty Cure, they, they did a lot of things together. They have a lot of memories from that. And I wanted to, you know, we get to the end of the year of this series, and we look back on every single moment the girls had, not only when it was just the trio, but when it was all four of them together. And that's really what I want this show um, to do, because to me, in the end, with Star Twinkle and maybe with a couple of others, we didn't really get to have that moment where, okay, let's like, let's reminisce for, well, no, because like that last episode before, you know, they all turned into an adult and stuff. They kind of did, but not as, I thought they would go a little more in depth, but they didn't. So, I mean, with this, because the fact is, I mean, oh, no, I can't say that yet. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to wait probably about five, two, three, four, five more episodes before I say that word and that sentence that I really want to say. I think a lot of people probably know what I'm going to say, but um, we're going to keep that under surprise until I'm ready to say it. So, probably next couple of weeks I should I, I think I'll be able to say it but I mean this it was a good episode I loved it I loved the aspect of bringing fashion and photo shoots and everything and getting ready for it, it was just so sweet the outfits were pretty I mean the dress like gave me so gold prince was pretty here but I mean it, it, like especially Nadoka's dress like oh my god that is my child. That is my Hibiki. That is my freaking Saga Italia the Evil, even though she's a badass in that show. Um, that is my freaking Futaba from Persona 5. And literally, that one show, one character who she played in freaking Overlord, she's like, just this girl. My god, this child. Like, thinking about it, we've all, we're only nine episodes into this show, but just the growth that she's done in nine episodes, the same thing with the other two, it's just really good. It's do I want to say that? Or, I, I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. I'm going to wait. I think a lot of people will probably know what I'm going to say about that, too, because I'm kind of comparing it to last season show. But, I mean, yeah. I loved it for what it was. It was nice. And I hope we get to see a lot more heartwarming episodes and moments between the three, especially with the fact that Hina felt some type of way because of <clears throat> Naruto's past and the fact that she was sick. I really love that because... I've had friends who've kind of done that for me because, like, like, yeah, even at the age that I am, I still have asthma. I don't have, like, frequent asthma attacks as much as I did when I was a kid because I grew out of it. But I can still, you never really know what happens. Like, when I go outside just to either take him out or do whatever, um, if I go somewhere, like, here in Florida, it's hot as heck. But if I, I lived in Nebraska for sure. Going back and forth between somewhere where it's hot, cold, hot, cold, that could immediately spark an asthma attack. Little things can just spark it. So, I mean, as someone who's grown out of it, but who still has it, like, I still reminisce. I still want more things on Nadoka's past of her being sick. And so I do hope that from episodes 10 to the end of the series, they still continue on that because that was something that has been very different from going from any of these particular series to actually having someone who's been sick a lot and that you can really um relate to that person because I mean like yeah I related to a lot of these girls from Yukari and a couple of others but um this is one where I was like after episode one and I was a hot mess after episode one crying my butt off even while I was editing I was crying my butt off over it because it's just like, damn, I've waited like such a long time to finally have someone who is like somewhat similar to me, but not um, like, mm, like 50, 50, almost a hundred, but like, yeah, still, I enjoyed it a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode nine of Healing Good Pity Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday, Saturday, next Sunday. For episode 10. Bye guys.